Why is the U.S. so religious compared to other Western democracies? According to the Pew Research Center, around 88% of Americans had at least some belief in a God, with around 63% being absolutely certain of this. This is in stark contrast to other comparable countries, such as the UK, where a 2011 YouGov poll found that only 34% of respondents reported belief in a God. A 2017 study of 15 Western European countries, again conducted by the Pew Research Center, found that the median percentage of belief in a higher power across the nations was only 38%. This is emulated in the nation's politics, with a 2018 poll finding that only 60% of Americans would entertain voting for an atheist, and only one member of Congress identifying as religiously unaffiliated. This is a vast difference to attitudes in the UK, where a 2015 YouGov poll found that the announcement by two of the main candidates for the general election that they were atheists made only 6% of voters view them more negatively, while the announcement that the remaining main candidate was a member of the Church of England made 7% of voters view him more negatively. What are the factors that have led to religion being so important in the US, relative to other Western countries? Answering this question properly would require a broad discussion of the religious tensions and transformations in England during the 16th and 17th centuries, starting with the English Reformation where the Church of England broke off from the authority of the Pope. Suffice it to say, for our purposes, that this move created a religious power vacuum in which a number of different British sects vied for dominance. There was a lot of fighting during this period between different sects, titularly headed by different members of the English nobility, culminating in the English Civil War and Cromwell's short-lived Commonwealth. After the fall of the Commonwealth and the reassertion of the Anglican Church as a state church, life was, shall we say, uncomfortable for a lot of religious sects in England, more because they were viewed as rebellious than because of their actual beliefs. This was particularly true for the Puritans, who had backed Cromwell's ascension and regime and were viewed with distrust and antipathy. So many members of these groups decided it was a good time to emigrate somewhere where they could have a degree of sovereignty and freedom from religious oppression. The New World was just opening up at that time, and was seen as an open, uninhabited region, never mind those pesky natives. The Puritans and other openly rebellious groups gravitated towards the Northeast New York and New England, more royalist-friendly groups congregated down in the Deep South, where they split from the Co and developed the range of Protestant sects we see today. Catholics, who had been abused both under the monarchy and the Commonwealth, tended to settle in the middle of the seaboard, along with a few other independent sects like the Mennonites and the Quakers. But all in all, a large portion of the early colonial settlers were religious sects frustrated by their inability to achieve hegemony in English politics, and looking for a secure place to establish themselves and their faith without interference. This quest for the independent practice of faith was enshrined in the U.S. Constitution, and the generally rebellious orientation, that our faith is good and right and deserves a place in the sun attitude, has never really left the U.S. political and social sphere. The U.S. is still deeply religious because many of its original settlers were motivated sectarian pit bulls, dedicated to establishing and developing their faith. That attitude has been passed down through the generations. 